Who among us does not spend at least part of the day talking on a cell phone? And that is why we're beginning tonight with new questions about a possible health risk. Today, a new report says cell phones may raise the risk of brain cancer. Again, we emphasize may because thus far there is no definitive link. But even the chance is reason for concern and reason to ask CBS News medical correspondent Dr. John LaPook to explain. An international group of scientists spent the last eight days poring over all available studies on the possible link between cell phone use and cancer. They classified cell phones as, quote, possibly carcinogenic to humans, in the same category as engine exhaust, certain food dyes, and the pesticide DDT. This means there may be an increased risk, but the evidence is not conclusive. I'll emphasize possible because that's where the evidence stands at present. The new classification was given in an abundance of caution because these scientists found some evidence long-term cell phone use may be linked to an increase in glioma, the deadliest form of brain cancer. However, most studies have not shown this link. The jury is not clear. It's not an established uh, carcinogen. And that for those who want to take steps to reduce their exposure, there are potential ways to do it. This panel is getting a lot of attention today, but there's absolutely no reason for anyone to panic. You Harry. just said in your piece that most studies have shown there is no link, yet the World Health Organization says maybe. How worried should we be? Again, there's no reason to panic, but I think they're acting out of an abundance of caution, right? I mean, these studies are very tough to do. It could take 10, 20 years for something to cause a brain cancer. So how do you prove that it's safe or it's not safe, especially mm -hmm. with the use exploding like this? Now, there's some good news here, which is that the rate of, of brain cancer has not increased in the last 10, 20 years. So right. that's good. And the other thing is we're not talking about ionizing radiation like DNA, which can directly break damage DNA and lead to cancer that way. Right. We're talking about radio waves, but still there's reason to want to see more long-term data. What in the meantime should we do? All right, I've got two kids, right? And I'm especially, and everybody's especially worried about the developing brain, and especially kids who may have very thin skulls. So you're holding that phone right up to it, right? Mm -hmm. So I tell them, first of all, there's no using the cell phone in the house. Just pick up the telephone, okay? To text if you can, that makes sense, anything to keep it away from you, and use some sort of an earpiece if you can, rather than holding it directly up against your ear, get it farther away. That just makes common sense. And again, we just have to wait for some long-term studies to be done. Dr. John LaPook, thanks so much.